let's let's show how to do an ideal gas law problem. I've got an example here. Okay, actually here. Well, let's bring it. Now, in this problem, pressure is given at 782 millimeters mercury. Volume is our unknown, our unknown variable. The number of moles N is 0.210 moles. Temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, and we know R is 0.082 atmospheres, liters, moles, Kelvin. The R gas constant is why we need our units in atmospheres, liters, moles, Kelvin, okay? So ideal gas law. First thing I have to do is which equation? Nothing changes. Combined gas law has a change. The ideal gas law does not. We have pressure, volume, number of moles, temperatures, and we already know R. Okay? So we're going to use this equation because with our variables, there's no change. Okay? What we want to know is under the conditions. Under these conditions for pressure, number of moles, and temperature, what is the volume? That's what we're asking. What's the volume under those conditions? Okay, so we know our equation, the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. Now, we before we go any further, we need to convert and make sure our units match our, our R gas constant units, atmospheres, liters, moles, Kelvin. Okay, so this is in millimeters mercury. Remember, there are 760 millimeters mercury in one atmosphere, okay? Seven, that's their equivalence, okay? So I have 782, and by doing this, okay, I'm going to convert, I'm going to divide 782 by 760, I'm going to get 1.029 atmospheres. Now, temperature must be always, always, always in kelvins. Notice we don't say degree kelvin, we say kelvins. So we have 27 degrees Celsius so we need to convert our temperature into kelvins. So we take our degree Celsius, add 273.15, we get our kelvin temperature, 300.15. Now, PV equals NRT, so volume is NRT over P. Okay, so we set it, the equation up to solve, and now I'm going to substitute N. 0.210 moles. Here's my R, the gas constant, 0.082 atmosphere liters mole Kelvin. And then temperature 300.15 Kelvins, and we're going to divide it by the pressure 1.029 atmospheres. Now notice, atmospheres cancel. Our, we're going to we're going to end uh, moles. Moles cancel. Okay, Kelvin, and we're left with our volume in liters, and the answer, 5.02 liters. So, take, take a deliberate, uh, take a deliberate approach to solving these problems, okay? Is this ideal or combined? This is ideal, an ideal gas law problem. There's no change in any of the variables, temperature, pressure, volume, number of moles, okay? So we have our equation. We go through and we make sure that all the units are in atmospheres, they're in atmospheres, liters, moles, Kelvin. Okay, so we can cancel out when we solve because that's the units for this number, 0.082, for the R, the gas constant. And then, once we did our conversions, okay, we set it up to solve, substitute, and solve. Okay, it's take a deliberate approach. Take it one step at a time. Try not to, uh, the tendency is just to go right here and then go ahead and substitute. You have to make, check on your units before you substitute and solve. That's it.